Guys, we have a couple today. And it looks like Tech Black Rose featuring Karian. Karian is kind of known as the best tech player of all time. You could say that's Carl Jr. Uh, I think Karian is definitely up there as well. So we're going to watch the GPS because we're never going to play this map as well as the GPS does ever. Let's just watch this. 48.9. Inside line around the first turn. Good exit. Clean. Ooh. Oh, he's freaky with it. Good speed. Up on the platform, around. Left. Okay. I could do that. Sure. <laughs> okay, that is a very well calculated turn. Uh, one thing to note as well today, this is speed tech. Which is my editor Elensar's best style. He has yet to beat me in a cup of the day. But I wonder if today might be his opportunity, because this is his specialty. And it's not mine. So we will see. Ooh. This was the wide platform, down left. I think it alternates left, right, left, right. There's there's not like two lefts in a row anywhere. That makes the map easier to remember. And then speed for that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go again. I'm second. Wow. <laughs> With an amazing time. Five seconds behind the GPS time. Surely, guys, we're getting Division 1 today. It's just speed tech's hard to learn. Okay, so there was a lot of speed through here. A lot of speed through this checkpoint because you want to go to the uphill exit. Ah, and we're good. And this is the finish jump. Which you can fail. Great to learn. Better learn that now than in knockouts, alright? A failure is still a learning opportunity. That's the best way to learn. That is a diagonal. Okay. That's important to remember as well. Because I can have way more speed. Out wide. A lot of speed here. Full sand. Full sand. <laughs> I, I say it out loud to try to make myself do it. But I still release a bunch in my full sense. Okay. There's a lot of space. Right here. Yeah. And then here, and then here. Push for that. It's a little better.
<laughs> this entire map is hesitation. It's so much hesitation. The turns just come flying at you. Very difficult map. 52 flat. And I'm 18th. Author time, I just want to remind you, three full seconds out of that. Karian. The GOAT. If I can get, like, 50-something, I think I feel pretty good about that. Oh, I was a second ahead. That's actually 50 pace. 2.5? No, the, the GPS was 48.9. So, like, I think one thing you're gonna see happening in a couple of days is that the real author time is gonna be the GPS ghost. Because couple of the day author times got too hard. So the developers don't want them to be like accessible to only, you know, five players every day. So they made the requirement that they have to be easier, the author times. Because like if a pro player hunts a map for two months and makes that track of the day, and then players have 24 hours to grind the map before it's a new one, uh, it doesn't really line up. Like a pro player could set a time that People are not going to get in a day, right? Uh, but you put a better time in the GPS to see, like, this is the time to beat. 50.4. That would get me Division 1. Did I complete all achievements? I did. In eight hours, it took. It took eight full hours of playing. I played 300 Trackmania maps yesterday. And I went to bed it and they were just spinning in my head. <laughs> so many different things. Don't have to break there. Fifty point five. We are sixth. Like speed tech's a cool style. It looks really clean when you can hit the drifts, but as a player, like as the person making sure we get from start to finish without crashing, it's terrifying. Like it's probably soothing to watch, but you drive too close to so many corners that it's just like mistakes are gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna full sun this since we're behind. Okay, survive that one. What about this one? Full sand. Oh, okay. Full speed here. Full speed! Point four. Sigma is... Dude, send by T. Ah, uh, not good. Last one. Oh, late gear. Okay. Better speed. Oh! You can crash there? Dude, I was so fast! Fifty point one. No respawn timer. Sorry for talking fake languages. 
We got Division 1 though. Let's see. Cup of the day on Corrigan's Paradise. Black Rose built by Dot. And also Karian, it seems like. Karian with the route. This isn't a real author time? I mean, it is a real author time. 49.50. It's a good time. But they could have made it impossible if they put Karian's 48.9. Or close impossible, right? So this is a no knockout. If you've never watched a cup of the day, then uh, welcome, welcome. The first round is always a uh, no knockout round to get you started. You can crash here, does not matter. You will not be out. Every round after this one, the slowest four get eliminated. And on a map like this, it's not going to be because you're slow. It's going to be if you crash. If you look at the splits, people are, what, 12 seconds behind already. So. I think I'm going to drift there. You don't need to, but doing so makes it a lot safer. Also, I cannot believe I survived that. <laughs> I should not have survived that. Who's the best American players? Uh, there's a really good ice player called Glue Sniffer 1. Glue Sniffer 1 is really strong. Uh, Shield Bandit. Nexotica is very good. I might be forgetting some names. Ski Freak's pretty good. pretty wide oh I see it's kind of hard to see because the platform is very dark but there is um, there's a, like an initial bump right here this is the highest point if you go later it's not as high I think the Americans will will get here in the end right right now the game is very Europe centric although we have a five-time world champion from Canada Also, the GOAT, Carl Jr. Apart from that, game is very Europe-centric. So if you're an American player, you're doing your part, tell your friends about the game. That's going to bring in pro-American players. It's going to bring in American eSport orgs who have all the money. It's going to be hype. Also, I did crash there. It's a very small crash, but got to be careful. Yo, Elantar, did you get Division 1 today? Are you here? You were rendering? Ah, oh, okay. I was expecting we could have a battle. Can you say hi to your four-year-old that sat next to you? Hey, Ivy! Welcome to the stream. That's very wholesome. You're watching with... with your kid. Maybe one day we'll have Ivy in Division 1 as well. If she uh, <laughs> likes the game, she should try it. miss yeah if I go for the the far corner it's gonna be dump every time top numbers when you press attack point uh, pass attack point it's a custom plugin that tells you the speed that you have if you see green numbers it means I'm faster on my PB ghost in speed and if you see orange it means I'm slower at that checkpoint on this map it's not that useful it's very useful on uh, full speed maps to uh, judge your pace.
may be useful in attack too. I don't really look at it here though. That part is sketchy. approach yeah mid 50s mid 50s and we're gonna stay in for a while how are those faster uh they're taking more risks going closer to each corner and also preserving more speed but you're really like you're playing more risky right Like, say this map has 10 corners, and I, for safety, sacrifice about a tenth of a second each turn. That's a second throughout the run. But I do that sacrifice for consistency. And when that's no longer possible in terms of pace, I'll have to take more risks myself. But oftentimes, if you're like a second or two behind world record, it could be that you didn't make any big mistake. It's just like compounding throughout the run. Ooh. Wow, that was sixth place. And I'm still 0.6 behind spam. Like I'm not I'm not taking risks. Really. I'm going very safe. <laughs> Got Trick Mini on Steam a few days ago. You have five author times, you love the game. Thanks for showing me. Congrats on making the move, man. Now you have a whole world of racing tracks to enjoy. It's hard to bring yourself to try new things. Sometimes when people recommend me like, oh, you should watch that show. Oh, I should listen to this song. You should try this game. I'm like, oh. People say that about everything, right? Should I really try this thing? And then I get positively surprised. Like, oh, that was really good. Ah, 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 release. <laughs> I made that mistake in the qualifier and I instantly saw it was gonna ha- Okay, hang on. Okay. Two small mistakes. Weird line. Ah. Okay. Set up wide, that means I have a lot of space. Little speed here, but far corner, and we make it. Yeah. Oh, spam! Whoo! Saved himself. Spam, the fastest player so far, nearly out. Good. Good speed. Wide. This guy's Sigma is good. Okay, low. Good. Okay. 
back to that 50 mid. I'm literally losing a second, but it's okay. If I stay there, I'm gonna go far. See again, like 53, 53, 51, 51, 51. Mistake heavy maps. Okay. Top 50%. Usually on tech, I go out like 20th. If I get further than that today, I'm pretty happy. Trust the process. That turn is scary. No slide, are you serious? Whew. Still fine. <laughs> And spam actually out this time, three hundredths. Probably a cup he should have won. But mistakes got to him, mistakes got to me too. It's a hard map. I wonder how this looks like in Div 30 when we can hardly play it in Div 1, right? Did I watch ski jumping? I saw that one guy who jumped 160 or something in uh, the hill that could not support it. Like, he jumped so good that it was dangerous. I watch it sometimes. Mostly highlights, though. Safe it. Good. Good, good, good. Comfortable. That was comfort. In Div 23, you can finish 18 behind. Then there has to be a smurf. Paul as well also out. Pole. As he's called in-game. Very good tech player. Trust the process. Like, in a couple of the days, it's often easy to get scared if you see, like, a red number early. It's usually just a matter of, like, a hundredth, right? Like, two hundredths. Or two tenths. And if you know people are gonna crash, you just need to drive. And then things will happen. Does he win a tech map? It's possible. I have some pace left that I have not gone for yet. Because there's no point, really. But it's gonna be quite the shift, right? If I have to change gears from 50 low to 49 high, uh, I need to be ready to do that. Okay. Okay.
That's a good ending. Like, my starts are again really bad, but... <laughs> my endings are solid. Also, great round by the players, like... I was among the slowest that didn't crash. Top 16! How far do we get on speed sack? It could... fall apart any moment here, but... Let's see. All the setups. Good. Point one. Still leaving that little bit in the start for our safety. Not bad. Top twelve. Good speed on the M2, 50.2. People are arriving 49s now. But it's right around this, like, standard that I'm at. Top 10. Ooh, 49! Deska though with the 49.6. Not bad, top 8. Slowly just increasing the pressure here. Approach is bad. Good release. Whew. He was eight seconds behind, I didn't see. <laughs> I messed up the approach for the last. Top seven. I released so much. Is it the tenth win? Yeah, I don't wanna jinx it. I'm just gonna do one run at a time. Play my center pace. And we'll see what fate has in store.
good. Fifty low. Deska, dude. Deska, be crazy with it. He's like the last insanely fast player left. Down with a mistake. Point eight behind, yeah. Point three. I should hold that. Yeah, all good. All good. I looked at the splits and saw, okay, he's far. Top 5. Now I might need to go a little bit faster. D Lingo as well, 0. 0.7. Good sign. <sighs> I released even. I even released, guys. I saw that went wide. 5 seconds. Oh, I got self-conscious. I got self-conscious. I should have just played. I got my own thoughts. Yeah, let's just... What is going on? What? Can we just finish, but what? I think my game crashed. Uh, how do I rejoin? Okay, hang on. I know, I know where. I know where. <laughs> Let's see if it's still going. It could be just me. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate. It was just me, actually. I don't know if that happened because. I crashed, but either way, I might have just lost to a disconnect if it wasn't. It only happened to me, but I, I was already out, so I think doubters, you do win. Unfortunately, guys, we end top five today. Still pretty good for tech. Still pretty good for tech. I did not lose to a disconnect. I, I don't think so. I lost to my own crash in the start that cost five seconds. It's top three. Deska, Seraph, Murray. <laughs> Let's see how this one goes. Oh no, I could have probably. I could have probably. See what happened to me was I was thinking like in my head. What is happening? They crashed the same corner. It's dead even. You never see this. Okay, it's a 1v1. It's completely equal, and they're both panicking. They're both panicked right now. Set off with more speed, he's gonna catch up a lot. Murray sweating. Seraf only a tenth behind. Last drift, he's gonna send it all in. Oh! He survives. Murray missed the finish. Oh, he still gets it. Okay, yeah, good luck uh, collecting yourself and going up against Deska. 49.6. 49.6. But yeah, no, I was thinking, like, what if... What if I won this? And then the same corner, I'm like, wait, I'm in a run. Oh, wait, I'm going wide. Oh, wait, I crashed. <laughs> Hopefully Deska and Murray keep it together. Deska with the best start. Low inside trajectory through the checkpoint. Clean exit. Murray, point one behind. Uphill, Murray hits the wall. Deska. Going to be a second ahead. 
Oh! Oh! Ah! The approaches are not good right now. He's stressed. He is very stressed, guys. He lost two tenths there to a dust. That looks good. Release. Just really. Ah! He did the thing! No, Deska! No! It's so equal! It's so equal. Last drift, Deska panicking, though. Murray most collected. And Murray wins. He was so stressed. You can see it by every inch of his driving. He was very stressed. Murray clearly too in the start by crashing, but like it was full meltdown. Oh, GG Murray. Could I have won that final? I think so. I do think so.